Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I want to talk about maintaining edits between alternate layouts. In a previous video, I showed how to create alternate layouts to create responsive content at different sizes or orientations. We saw that the styles are set up so each layout can have different style definitions. What we'll deal with this time around is the content itself. When we create an alternate layout, we have the option to link stories. That creates an editorial link between text stories across the layouts. So if I were to make a change to this content here, it will ripple through to the other layouts. Or will it? I've made a change and nothing's happened. Unfortunately, InDesign doesn't give us an option to have this done automatically, so we have to manually update all the offspring text frames. I can see the warning label on the text frame and could just double click that to update it. Or I can come over to the links panel and I can see that I have an out of date link and can just double click it here. And any styling that's applied of course remains. And this is where having the different styles for each layout comes in handy. One thing I always mention when working with alternate layouts is that you should do them as late as possible in the workflow. And that's because it builds the alternates on the current condition of the original layout. In other words, if you add a text frame after the fact to that top level layout, you won't see it in the child layouts. There is a way to add new linked stories after the fact, but it definitely should be used sparingly. It's pretty clunky. Let's say we want to add a new text frame here with some new information. On the top level layout, I'll put in a new text frame. And to get it to other layouts, I need to use the content collector tools. The what I hear you saying? These tools here that look like little ball pits. I call them the picker upper and the putter downer tools. We'll click the one on the left and then the content conveyor shows up. We'll click on the story that you want to pick up and then switch to the other tool. At the bottom, make sure you click the create link to create that editorial relationship between the frames. You can also choose to map styles and set up the mapping. Without choosing this option, it won't automatically apply the styling from the right style group, and you'll have styling from layout A applied in layout B, which can get confusing. You could also just manually style that yourself. Roll over these icons to see your place options, and I'll go ahead and just choose this one here. Next, go to the page you want to apply the text frame to. Then just click on the page to place it. Now, just like before, if I make an edit to this text on the first layout, it shows the other frames as modified, and I can double click to update them. You can see how easy it is to maintain editorial updates between the layouts, but since it's a little clunky, I would definitely make sure that your first layout is done and set in stone as much as possible before creating alternate layouts from it. Be sure to check out In5 at in5.us, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.